sucker for a romantic dinner, and if I had someone come to my place and prepare it, well, let's just say I'd be in heaven. Our next guest adds a little spice to dinners by bringing it all to you. Ladies and gentlemen, personal chef Brian Christie. Okay, Brian, uh, uh, first of all, um, what you got here looks wonderful, almost Thank like you. it's it's plastic, but... Uh, it's not. But it's, it's not. It's, it's real food. Talk about how you are able to do this and, and, and make it special. I, I mean, you going to someone's home or and just doing this for them, how do you, how do you make that work? Well, we kind of adhere to their needs, whether um, uh, it's lessons or interactive dining where they play along, ask questions, all that stuff, or VIP dining where, you know, more for uh, you know, somebody, their clientele kind of thing. Um, but what I'll do, what makes it uh, maybe a little different is that I'll have a consultation with them and I'll find out what their favorite types of food are, what their favorite foods are in general, um, what, you know, something when they were a child they haven't had forever, and then I'll find out what they don't like, what they can't have, that kind of thing. And then I'll come up with, you know, three to five ideas maybe and present it to them and say, here, and, uh, and obviously with the seasons that we have and, and say, uh, you know, this is, these are some choices, what do you think? And, and uh, I mean, that's what these, these are creations off of different uh, past dinners that, that have come up and, 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 and everybody always likes them. Wow. So great. wonderful. Now we that got, so we got Stacy over here that's bringing out some. Yes, our producer and makeup artist, Stacy. We've got some. <laughs> <laughs> We've got some melted ice cream, I believe, here. This, this is, the is yeah, it's, it was, it was, uh, had, it did have ice cream with it, but now it's more of a chocolate syrup. Um, this is actually, <laughs> <laughs> this is actually a seared Bosch this pear. Is a pear right? yeah. yeah, it's a seared Bosch pear, uh, made it within a you, you uh, pork can't, reduction. This is hers. Oh, you can't Laura, eat it. Laura, will you share? Have you introduced our, our couple here? Yeah, by the way, we have Bruce and we have Laura. Bruce who have, and Laura, who have been dating for four months. They met playing softball, right? Kickball. Oh, sorry. Kickball. It was and I'm, ball. About to, I'm about to devour, devour their dinner in a little bit, but continue. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, it's a seared Bosch pear uh, made with a uh, brown sugar port reduction. It's spiced um, and also has some orange peel in it, um, uh, some vanilla flavoring, things like that. It's uh, on top of a triple chocolate ice cream, and it's included with a candied orange peel that's been dipped in a, a, a dark chocolate. And the Excellent. Oh, that's so <laughs> beautiful. Um, Are you kidding me? We got a fly in here. <laughs> oh, literally a fly? Yeah. Yeah, I was oh. just chewing okay. them. Okay, Brian, oh. now, let, let's, let's talk about, <laughs> let's talk about the, uh, uh, the whole presentation. How long does it take you to do this from start to finish for a dinner for two? It really depends. It really depends what it is, and that's how. The, the VIPs are the only things, the VIP dinners are the only ones that are actually set with, with a price. But if I do an interactive dinner, uh, that's not a set price. It's basically on what they want. So I'll decide. I'll find out what they want, and then that's kind of included. Uh, the time is included in the price. So some dinners may be simple and easy, like this pasta is is very easy to make. Mm -hmm. um, but the pork itself take, took more, like you know, 25 minutes, 30 right. minutes to do. Um, it just really depends on what the dish is. I mean, it it could take. I can have a dinner done extremely quick, or it may take a good long hour just to get one dish done. It just really depends what they want. Do you find that the Kansas City customer is, um, you know, receptive to sort of the, the intimacy of what you offer? Everybody, I have had nothing but positive energy from everybody that's Good. heard about this. Everybody wants to help out or want din wants dinners or, or some variation of it. I was trying not to do catering at first, but I just can't turn down the business. But uh, also doing, um, like I've got a, a party for 30 women that are doing, we're doing food. Hello, of we're course they hired you. <laughs> yeah. They're like, he yeah. kind of looks like Matt Damon and oh, he'll cook dear. for us. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's what everyone in the audience has been bustling about, by the way, is how you look like Matt Damon. Oh. He was recently voted the sexiest man alive, so take it with a grain of salt. Uh, I just do stunt doubles when I can. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now uh, it's a, a group of 30 women, um, roughly, that are. We're going to do food flights, you know, kind of like uh, wine oh, flights, cool. and we're going to do wine pairings with those foods. Oh, that's so excellent. it's there's really no limitations to it. Um, we're doing children's educational uh, foods, things like that. I mean, there's just there's no limits. So to it's it. really growing, and you're sort of developing yeah, it's, it as. Yeah, it's it's just it's. I was not expecting how it's been perceived how everything's going Excellent. with it. You know what? Uh, they have been really Patient. salivating Yeah, she's been staring at that pasta for I a know. while. Listen, I walked Laura, in here and she's... Yeah. It, it, let's go ahead and let them eat. Let's uh, let's see what it, let's see what it tastes like, guys. I'm going to have to We've live. all been picking at it backstage, by the way, but I no haven't. officially. That was one of the reasons it was hard to time everything. Yeah, right, seriously, because we weren't helping. In. We were not helping. <laughs> I had to live vicariously through you. Uh, okay, what do you think? All right. Good. 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 Awesome. Good. All right. Good response. All right. Yeah. Good response. Yeah. It's my favorite Alfredo. It's a three cheese Alfredo. It's got um, uh, goat cheese, Provel, Romano. Ooh. Oh yeah. It's got a lot of. It's 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 basically fat. Sorry. 
but uh, it's got butter <laughs> it's and cream. It's lard and yeah, delicious. Much. If you're on a diet, not the best little, meal, sorry. <laughs> little bite, take your hand and Crisco, put about a handful of Crisco <laughs> yeah. in it. Well, look, especially when you're eating like these, these beautiful little portions, why not indulge? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, that's another thing is that, you know, regardless of the calories or whatever, you, you want to bring in as much taste as you can. Sure. You have a smaller portion, so you want to bring as much taste as you can with those, with those small portions. Yeah, you going to get to the meat? Go, okay, go. <laughs> um, That's what I'm talking about. The rest about. of the pasta that had roasted pine nuts and garlic, roasted garlic and, and such oh, with yum. it. Uh, the, the, the pork itself. Here, let me a, hold that for you. <laughs> <laughs> we have more backstage. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, the pork itself is a brandy thyme pork, uh, pork tenderloin. Uh, it's topped with honey apples, bacon, and that was cooked in a maple syrup. So it's, it's, it should be pretty tasty. Cool. Fantastic. Good. Wow, this Excellent. is now. Um, this, how do they how do they get in contact with you, Brian? Uh, you can go through the website, which is uh, www.personalchefskc.com, um, or you can always call at 816-838-9666, and I always say it that way because the other way just sounds evil, and I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. <laughs> I hate having that number, but I'm stuck with it for a while. Well, you know, uh, it's, it's cool. okay. He's not the devil. I call him. He, he really isn't. <laughs> now, unless it's you're unless you're on number. a diet. Of course. Well, we you, also do, uh, I've done dinners for vegans, vegetarians, uh, people on dietary restrictions because of their uh, health require, you know, if, if they're a recovering patient of some sort, we can do uh, anything and everything. It's, it's, there's no limitations to it. Wow. We'll work with you, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we will. We'll work with you. Uh, you guys, is y'all not talking at all up here. <laughs> y'all getting down. Ladies and gentlemen, personal chef Brian Christie, give it up for him. Holly Star, what do you got for us? Coming up next, Natalie Smith from Poleworks and tonight's musical guest, Jillian Risco, when After Hours continues.